from Crafty Clegs. This is what the day looks like today. Isn't that horrendous? Again. So I am going to pop in the shower and Tim and I are going out. We're going to risk it in the rain. Look at that big cloud there. Oh my days. Anyway, I'll see you later. everybody um, I'm back in the craft room now as you can see we've just got back from Marks and Spencers we went to Marks and Spencers and we went to the range um, we went to get some poppers but they didn't have any you know the plastic snaps because I want to do some DPN holders and they didn't have any at the range um, so on the way back home we stopped at Angela's at the bobbin patch and I might have got a bit carried away um, I was going to do some filming, but there was people in and yeah, it's not a very big shot. Well, it's, it is quite a big shot, but there's not a lot of space to film if you're trying to avoid people. And I didn't really want to get anybody on. Um, so I got some plastic snaps. I like these ones. These are, are they prim? I think they are. Let me just get the price off. I think, yeah, they are. These are prim. Um, so them are blue navy blue and white and then i got these which they've got some stars on can you see the stars here uh, they are blue white and red so i got them um these are my favorite needles to sew with they're a super universal needle but they're a really really good needle they're quite expensive i think is £4.50 they are. I think they're quite expensive for what they are. But having said that, you can really tell the difference. They're, um, I don't know why this is super duper. I don't know what's super duper special about them. But Angela says she uses these. And if Angela uses them, then they've got to be good. Um, I've had this fabric before, but I had to get some more. I love it because it's got bunnies on and toadstools. So I've got that. And then I just had to get this. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that with all the tape measures. And that's um, Sunbonnet Sue. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make with them. Um, got myself some linen. 100% linen. Um, just got an accent fabric, fabric to go with this one. Nice, isn't it? And then... Um, I am going to get on the bandwagon with everybody else. Everybody seems to be doing these furry bears. Not bears, furry bags. Um, I made one for my friend Karen of uh, Stitches and Jacks oh, a couple of weeks ago for her birthday. But I'm not going to do anything as, as fancy and as elaborate as that. I just want to make furry bags. So I managed to get some of this teddy bear fabric. Look at that. So I've got some teddy bear fabric. And... I managed to get, look at this. I know it's giraffe fabric, but wouldn't that be nice together? Oh, I'm excited. Um, and then I bought this fat quarter. There was a 
Hobbycraft, we went to Stockport, by the way. Um, there is a Marks and Spencers that's closer to us other than Stockport, but Stockport has just opened, well, when I say just, I think it was late last year, October, November sometime, and they have just opened a beautiful Marks and Spencers, but it's just a food hall. Um, yeah, they've got some gorgeous stuff in there. But yeah, we we don't shop at Marks and Spencers. It's just far too expensive. I went to get half a dozen. No, I went to get a dozen eggs because Tim and I like omelets for breakfast or scrambled egg. And for 12 eggs, I mean, this sounds like I'm moaning. And I know things are expensive. But for 12 eggs in Marks and Spencers, it was £6.40. They were £3.20 for half a dozen eggs. I mean, really? Anyway. So, in... Um, Hold on. Hobbycraft. I got this fat quarter bundle. Let me let me go. This is for me, this. Um, it says Kimberly Hind. I've never heard of her before, but it's Kimberly Hind. And there's this one. The little is that a house or a church? No, it's a house. So there's that one and that one. They all match and go together, that one. I bought these for something. This one with the wells on. Oh, this is lovely. This one. That's like a very, very deep purple. You can't see it, a deep mauve. That one. I think it's more like a fairy theme, didn't it? Because look at this one. That one as well. Um, I bought them. Um, to make a few things. Um, I bought them for a journal. I'm going to make myself a journal. But also, while I was at Angela's, she has got a workshop on next week, next Thursday, I think she said it was, um, to make a clamshell cushion. So I said, oh, have you got any spaces left? Can I book on? And she has. She just said, I'll be able to get you on. So next Thursday, I am going to Angela's um, at the Bobbin Patch where I used to work and I'm doing a cushion workshop and it's all clamshells. So I'm very excited about that. Um, in the car, I finished my, because Stockport is about I don't know, 25 minutes away from us. And I never go anywhere without a bit of crocheting or knitting. So I finished my first mitten. I've just got the thumb to do now. Um, but I'll, I'll do both the thumbs at the same time. So I'm going to cast on now the second mitten. Um, and I'm having a sort out in my craft room. And tomorrow I'm going to have a sewing day. I'm going to do some sewing for myself. Might do some sewing for the shop. And because I had a day off, I might even um, podcast tomorrow and show you. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I've got stuff to do, but I will be back later on um, and we'll have a goodbye chat and I'll let you know what I've done with the rest of the afternoon. All right, see you later. afternoon I have finished quilting my front panel I don't you can't see it very well because oops sorry it's shadowed um can you see it there so I have just done two inch cross etching if that's the right word so the front's done and I've cut it to the size that I want and then I'm just putting my um cross etch lines so this is how I do mine I go from one end to the other and then from this end up to that end and then I just measure two inches from that line so I go over two inches go over two inches and so forth and so on I don't know if that's right please don't take my word for it it's how I do it and I feel that it comes out best for me isn't this piece of fabric fabulous um, it is going a bit dark now, so and it is quarter to six. So I am going to finish now and say goodnight to you um, because I need to sort out something for dinner. Um, just bear with me and I'll turn you around. Right, I've got you propped up on my machine. Uh, yeah, so it's quarter to six. It's going dark now and I'm going to get something to eat. But after um, dinner, I'm going to get my shower and I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to finish quilting that and measure it for the lining. 
and then I'm going to work out what I'm going to do for handles. I don't know whether to put some webbing handles on or make some handles of my own. I'm not sure what to do yet. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. And then tomorrow I want to do the lining and construct it. And then I want to try and get Karen's done as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to say good night. I'm going to cast on my other mitten tonight and yeah, see how that goes. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to, to say to you today. I am going to come back to you tomorrow um, because like I said, I'm going to have a full day in the craft room. I'm going to try and go for a walk and have some time in the craft room. So yeah, I'll take you with me and we'll see what happens. Um, but for now, I'm going to say good night and I shall catch you all tomorrow. Happy crafting and enjoy your Friday evening, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.